Good evening, Commander. Oh, wait, no, I'm Commander. Good evening, soldiers of Stream 4 Star. Close enough. Hey, everybody. It may be a holiday week, but we are back fighting the alien overlords. Again, it's just me. It's Quinn. I hope everyone had either a good Thanksgiving or, for everyone else in the world, a good Thursday. Mine was relaxing enough. I ended up deciding against doing the Elite Dangerous stream I was talking about during the Unfortunate Spacemen, and, uh... I ended up just watching Scott as he finished Bug Snacks, which you can check out over on his Twitch channel because I don't think he puts it anywhere else. Anyway, let's hop back in. I had to make a different save than last time uh, to work, uh, make a few changes to soldiers that were already in the game instead of to the character pool, uh, but let's go ahead and hop in. All right, I forgot what I was doing here. Uh, all right, I think the first thing I'll do is introduce our new skirmisher, 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 uh, skirmisher, uh, BB. Uh, someone wanted a very butch female, and I fig and after trying trying with the different soldier models I could get, I figured a woman in like a full suit of armor, rations. like I think, is pretty strong, or at least portrays that kind of strength. So I went with this, and I apologize if you don't like the name BB. Uh, you did just give me B for a name, and I do have to give them a full name, so if you want that change, just let me know. Uh, but otherwise, everyone else is as they were last stream. Oh, and my name is Jeff. Thank you for rating. Uh, let's see. I feel like... Yeah, okay, the title. I forgot to do that. Right off the gate, will there be, will there ever be more on a bridge? Yes, we are still going to finish the season we started uh, this year. Unfortunately, COVID forced our office to close, and obviously we can't get everyone in close proximity without masks until all of this bullshit is over. So, more on a bridge is coming, but it probably won't be until 2021 when we can actually get this under control. Uh, and before I continue, I forgot to put the join XCOM in the title. So let me go ahead and do that so everybody knows that subscribers can hop over to our Discord to try and list in the Stream 4 Star Resistance. Alright, anyway, back to the game. Let's see, we still have to make contact with the new Arctic because the last couple of missions have been costing us dearly. Uh, that's actually good for all the damage the um, uh, Chosen been doing to us. Let's go ahead and finish making contact with New India. India. Oh, okay, this tech's done. Easier than your last procedure, Doctor. Central. Yes, but I don't have to worry about the patient living, it's very easy. When the subject has already expired. The results, however, it's best you see for yourself. By autopsy of the advent, Captain has confirmed the existence of an implant, similar in design to the unit I extracted from the commander. But, but this one's asymmetrical. What kind of differences? The data you see is being pulled directly from this Advent Captain's implant. The sequence here is essentially you, Commander. Or at least the tactical information they were processing through your mind. As you can see, the data is nearly identical. They were using you against us. Yes, however, 
The advent data show signs of decay. Removing the commander from their network has likely caused significant damage. That's why you're able to still win mission despite sucking yes, so bad. What we're seeing here is a psionic network. These implants are capable of receiving and transmitting information, a great deal of information, somehow encoded in a stream of psionic energy. My working theory? Advent uses this network to augment the tactical readiness of its troops, as well as disseminate orders from its central command. Observe. I ordered him to flop around like a dead fish. Diminished condition. The implant continues to have an effect. A truly astonishing achievement. Or a weakness. Potentially. But I need direct access to their network to know for sure. I'm guessing that won't be easy. We'd need an active link. And that would mean hacking a live Advent officer. Like I said, not easy. Still, it's the best lead we've got. Your call, Commander. Hey, Audio Dragon, how do you feel about stabbing an Advent I'm officer in the bad. face? All right, I'm we've got some extra projects. Our operations, Commander. Oh boy. Our people are standing by for your orders. The Advent Captain seems to provide a means of stabilizing the link between the local subordinates and the Advent Network Tower itself. Physically larger and more tactically capable than the subordinate troopers, the Advent officers administer a system of control over the troopers through a carefully engineered psionic link augmented with a mechanical implant. From my initial examination of the commander and a careful review of the information gathered in the alien containment area, I now have a theory as to how the system was established. Oh. It is my firm belief that this process of psionic control was specifically engineered to allow rapid development of tactical information drawn directly from the subconscious mind, in this case the mind of our very own commander. With this hierarchy in place, tactical knowledge stored in the depths of the commander's mind was processed and transmitted to the Advent officers, who in turn directed the troopers and other subordinates. With the commander no longer attached to their psionic network, it's difficult to say how the orders are being dispersed at this point, although I'm sure the aliens have planned for this potential contingency. I believe it may be possible to tap into this network, but it would require the use of, living, uh, of a living Advent Officer to function as a conduit. To facilitate this difficult task, we've worked to develop a new device, the Skull Jack. I'm sure that was your idea, which should be capable of disabling an officer. From there, it's simply a matter of hacking into the officer and hacking the officer in the field. Hacking into that would be fun, although I won't speculate as to the outcome. Commander, no, that's what you're here for. Speculate Skull away. Jack that Hagen came up with. We're going to need a specialized facility to test it out. Ugh, I would, ra I would rather do these autopsies immediately, because I think I need to really make some progress. Although, no, you make our health kits better. I'm going to do that. Although you. I would expect to be growing more accustomed to seeing the clear intermingling of both human and alien genetic Look at those snitties, folks. Admit, this reptilian creature with such distinctive human features is surprisingly unsettling. Invasion era reports include references to a species with some reptilian qualities, but nothing as readily apparent as this. Don't get distracted by those snitties, Tegan. We'll Although be back. I had realistic expectations as to the limited resources and facilities available to me on board the Avenger, I have to say, it's taken some getting used to. Even with the ship's dampening field, frequent turbulence and the occasional evasive maneuver make it difficult to conduct experiments of any notable sensitivity. I may have to adapt my research techniques to maintain efficiency under these conditions. Uh, so I really need to start building more rooms here, but honestly, I still want to end up building a power conduit in this room. But that's still going to take several days. Uh, and in the meantime, I do want to move over here so I can build a workshop that will allow me to s staff the rooms adjacent to it. Uh, but I can't really build anything else. I mean, I can build one thing here. Oh, actually, I can't. Nothing, uh, nothing requires only one piece of power. Uh, what is on the docket for 
So the next supply drop isn't for 14 days, but in the meantime, there'll probably be at least one more mission. I have glimpsed the power that awaits the elders, whether they realize it's Well, that's good for you. Not. I'm busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say hi to the We're locals. Picking up indications of the elders' warlock we know. working in this region. This is not new information. We were here before. We just fucked up. Uh, yeah. So finish making contact Setting with the new Arctic, and then we'll try to buff the, the region income. Asylum Con, thank you for the Prime sub. All right, Sunny is a specialist. Let's go ahead and back out. Now we can set someone else for training. Everything we've seen indicates the Chosen aren't going to stop hunting us, Commander. Our only option is to find them first. To do that, we'll need to work with the Resistance on a covert action in the ring. All right, I think we'll train Morbid Orion. Uh, this was Morbid Leaf's, this is Morbid Leaf's character. Uh, did not give me instructions as to what class it uh, should be. However, it was as Power Rangers looking as you can get. And when I hear Power Ranger, I hear melee combat, so Ranger. So let's do that. Oh, and any new tactics we can buy? We need a captain for that, and no one else is even close to getting anywhere near that. So we'll just have to make do with having five people on a mission. Commander, you should establish contact with the local resistance network as soon as possible. The aliens are undoubtedly moving. I'm working on it, Council. Plans. Our soldiers took some hits during the most recent covert action. But word from the medical team is they'll all be fine. All right, Shaq Barbarian. Uh, increased cohesion with Terra and got a promotion. And we got a Reaper. I'm not all that happy about it, but one of my best people has decided to come join your crew after that last covert action. Hey, that's not... You're not the Reaper I put in the character pool. Were you determined by the time I set the mission? All right. Oh, I definitely... I would like to keep recruiting... Because this, this is going to go away when the supply drop comes in, because then all of this will refresh. And I'd like to make sure I can snag as many of these special soldiers as I can. Uh, so... I don't want to break up the power couple here. But, uh, if they're the only two... Sergeants I've got... That aren't wounded. Okay, Terra volunteers to go find the Templars. Let's send Terra out. Uh, and I'll send Harmony Jacobs to hopefully get a promotion by following you. Alright. Uh, there is a low chance, there is a low risk of ambush, which is dangerous, but I have faith in you, Terra. And Harm uh, Jacobs, you hopefully can back them up. Our order is clear. And we will obey it. Alright. Can I not upgrade this again yet? I thought I can... I guess that comes later. Well, the thing is, the mission to contact the Templars will be there for a long time. Because that that's a requirement. But the one to recruit skirmishers can come and go. All right, uh, let's take a look at uh, Shex. All right, sharpshooter. Probably not what was in mind, given the barbarian outlook. May want to see if I can... Eh. I figured I wouldn't be able to change that. From what I've heard, the Resistance has already seen a boost in their recruitment efforts after word of the Commander's arrival got around. They've needed a leader just as much as we have. 
And now they'll be expecting us to hit the aliens where it hurts. Oh, oh remote start. Worry. Yes, please. We've got plenty of people itching to take on Advent. Things are just starting to get interesting. Uh, I don't think I'm going to waste too much XCOM XP on this guy. Uh, we still have to turn this one into an actual recruit. Uh, apparently it did not decide to pick up any of the other Reapers I dumped in the pool. Uh, so, if uh, you haven't enlisted yet, enlist now and you might get a chance to be turned into this Reaper. Uh, Tezudo, I did put you in the character pool. I don't know when you'll show up, but you're definitely up for selection. Alright. Can't do anything there yet, but I want you immediately to move over and start cleaning this room. Ooh, 30 days. Yikes. That's, uh... That's pretty painful. I might have to shift over Lanny to help him out. Uh, everyone who entered their thing before this stream is in the character pool. I, I'll just make that blanket st blanket statement. Oh, geez, didn't have to speed up time for that. New objective added. Commander, we've established contact with the local resistance, and we're ready to move on the alien black site on your order. All right. Advent's been keeping this facility a closely guarded secret. We should make sure our troops are ready for a tough fight before we send them out there. It looks like we've got our work cut out for us, Commander. Uh, let's see. Now that we have made contact with North America, or at least have the option to, we can now no take out that thing. If enemy units... Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, ha not having to deal with those pods acting when discovered accidentally would help out a lot. Shut up, assassin. That's cute. Our research was a success, Commander. I find it unusual, to say the least, that the subject so often referred to in the past as the Thin Man has now been revealed to actually be a genetic derivative of this holy reptilian creature. I find it truly remarkable how adaptable some of the alien species' genetics are to come at to the constant tweaks they are often subjected to. In the case of the Viper, a species once identified as the infiltration unit known as the Thin Man, uh, those were fun days, the aliens have made a conscious reduction in their efforts to disguise its true form. Without the introduction of extensive genetic material, the Viper uh, reverts to a purely reptilian form with giant tits, while apparently retaining the same intellect and combat aptitude. The Viper's snake-like form is in many ways similar to the legless reptiles we commonly encounter on Earth. The enhanced torso, enhanced torso musculature, hmm, allows for upright mobility, and the addition of two physically weak but capable arms allows for the handling of traditional weaponry. Of the many alien species or troops in, uh, encounter in the field, I find the prospect of encountering an intelligent snake standing over two meters tall to be among the most disturbing. Especially when she has dits. Alright, our medicine is better. Oh, we can make our guns better? That's tempting. I have so much technology I'm neglecting, but do it. I'll see that work begins immediately. It's gonna make Terra so much stronger. All those hits you available. all those hits you make will do extra damage. I will not allow the existence of any refuge in defiance of the elders' will. All who would shelter in such havens are doomed. Yeah, that's nice. The Hold on. never had any issues targeting civilians, and their chosen are no different. The resistance is counting on us to protect their people. We can't let them down. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Oh, hey, Brian. Live Studio Brian's in the chat. Oh, boy. Retaliation. All right, let's see if we can't go save some people. Ooh, it's a Haven Assault. That means there'll be NPC allies. Setting course for the we better make sure we're not shown up. All right, these are usually outdoors, so having good ranged units will help. Uh, having this Reaper... 
I'm not so sure. We're already going in guns hot, so we won't be... We only have one med kit. In fact, does uh, Tails have any? Like, if Tails can heal at range, I may want her to have another med kit as well. But I don't think you have gotten any. Yeah, you haven't even gotten to battle medic yet. So I think I may end up switching Tails out with someone else. I, I okay. I've, I've decided I'm going to actually keep. Haunt, who is going to be someone else by the time we have this next stream, in the group. Uh, I think having a couple of good range units would be good, but I think I'm going to switch Tails out with a Grenadier. Oh dear, I keep forgetting we only have the one. I should honestly, oh, we have two, but the other one's lightly wounded. I think, uh... Dirtider, I forget if you had a specific class picked out for you, but if you do not, uh, I might end up making you a grenadier just to shore up the numbers. Uh, Ronan Morgrim, I have witnessed you. I have borne witness. Uh, man, ha not having a grenadier on this mission, I, I'm not a fan of. Well, you know what? No time like the present. Hey, Dirt Dirt, come, come, come on and join us. This is your character. I, I yeah, use the resistance pack a lot. I think I'll actually give you a nanoscale vest. Give you some extra protection. Let's see, the flash, we already have one flashbang out. I wish I could, I wish I could give more equipment to you guys. But I think that's going to be it. I'm really counting on the AI uh, soldiers in these havens to be a bit helpful. Sky Ranger deployed. Menace ready to deploy. Begin your mission. outposts in the area. We're heading in to secure the camp and protect as many civilians as we can. Eliminate all hostile forces attacking the site. Make them regret coming after the resistance. I'll try. Shrouded Dead, thank you for the resub and the hope that no, there will be no deaths aside from the Xeno scum. Alien scum, you say, but when I see alien, I think Leos. I've been contaminated by Warhammer that area. way. Our people are doing what they can to fight back, but we need to help protect the civilians trapped nearby. Case There's in point. A group of resistance soldiers hunkered down not far from your position. Move in and help fend off the attacking alien forces. Okay, does not look like we have a lot of elevation on our side here. Uh, but given our landing position, I would assume the aliens are going to assault from this side. Like, pretty much the opposite side where we landed. So, on that note, I think uh, since our Reaper is still concealed, I will be using them as a scout. In short order. Spotted an alien patrol. Okay, so we got a sectoid over here. Let's see. Uh, dur -dur -dur, I think we'll have you hold back. Let's see what our sharpshooters might be able to get out of this situation. You got squ Oh, yeah, you have squad sight. <laughs> Almost 50% shot. 
Shot of death, how confident do you feel? Oh, you're coming in and out because you're at work. Then I won't put this on you. It's a chat play, but I'm not going to make... make uh, let's see. Coming from this go, side go, should be go. good. All right. <laughs> Tara, either you're confident in your hit rate or you're not me. Oh, are we finding our Vegeta? Do we have our Vegeta for XCOM? We need it. We'll need a underdog for Goku. Uh, I'm not gonna let you blow your turn like that. So get half cover. Oh, I was that one square out. Whoops. I'm on it. Scanning. Rolling out. Uh oh, we got mutons. These mutons seem a little more agile than the ones we fought in the past. It looks like they're still serving as the aliens' front line. Come on, resistance soldiers. Spare me the cost of putting men in front and men in dude peril. Ah, well. Alright. You have a shard gun. Yeah, no, that wasn't gonna work. Uh, but Man, I wish so there's a talent Reapers have where if they get a kill shot, they aren't revealed, regardless of how what the probability would be. Uh, this one, I don't think Haunt has it yet, so I'm going to keep him hidden as Scout Force. How about you? Actually, not very good odds. Probably because they got too close, right? No, really, they, they, I guess they're just in the worst position. Honestly, I would rather... Because the Purifier... Probably won't use his grenade on the civilian targets. I don't think so. So I'd like to get rid of the muton, but those are some pretty long odds. Uh, back up. Uh, disconnect is a bit out of position. If I could get him all the way over here and attack from that flank, that'd be pretty fun, but that'd be a whole turn of not shooting. On the move. All right, audio. Nice shot. Target neutralized. Let's see if dur -dur -dur, like it's it's fifty percent almost. Let let's see if this can do it. The odds weren't in your favor. I rather not waste two shots on the purifier. It does not do enough harm to justify it. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do now that that soldier's dead. Oh, that's that sectoid is still really far away. I go where you tell me. Is there me. anything else over here? No. Oh wow. No chance to crit, <laughs> so you won't kill it. All right, yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna have the Reaper blow his cover for not even a kill shot. So, uh, keep moving. Moving out. Is there anything else over here? 
No? Okay, that means the trouble is further in this direction. Okay, I'll go. I uh, uh, take the long odds. Yeah, no, it wasn't even a one in four chance. Get it together. Now, Shrouded Death, I would really want you to get a shot on that Muton. But I don't want to move you out of full cover. Though, actually, ooh, you may be too cl This may proc them to throw a grenade, so I think I'll actually will move you further Artist down. On the move. So I am going to bet that even if the civilians proc the flame, the advent purifier's grenade, it won't throw it if the muton is in melee with them, because then it would hurt the muton. I could be wrong about that. I don't know. But I know if I shoot the muton and it berserks, it will charge shrouded death. Which probably won't go well since everyone that would fire on him is out of position for being that far down range. And also, not that much damage on the Muton. I'm going to go ahead and have him shoot the Muton. Yeah. Come on. So I'm curious about what the Purifier will do. Yeah, you're just going to shoot a civilian. Rest in peace. Commander, Advent isn't backing off. They've got units in the AO that are ignoring our forces just to get a better shot at the civilians. Take those bastards down. Come on, Resistance. Pick up my slack. See? Good job. Fire's getting close here. Okay. So now... Move up. I guess that'll be okay. Okay, finish off the sectoid. Two and three shot. Nice. I know people probably are probably going to complain that I should have used that on the sectoid. I mean, the muton. You're probably right. No, not yet. I want to see how the others perform. Me dirijo a la posición indicada. Ah, crap, he exploded. Oh, good, that didn't hurt. That didn't hurt us shrouded. Heading out. Alright, let's wrap the claw around the muton. Oh dear, I did not figure position. that's where they Sensors were going to be. Indicate hostile forces are closing in fast. We need to get in there before the aliens slaughter those people.
Let's see here. Uh, definitely, oh my gosh. So the closest place they can get elevation is over here, which is probably right where all the aliens are. Uh, okay, yeah, you can't drop into shadow until next turn. Everyone else is moved, except for Shrouded, who has to avoid fire. So go ahead and do that. Moving to designated coordinates. Loot that muton. Ooh, Illyrium core, always good to find. Tech guys will love this. Why is that Reaper literally just a stalker? Uh also stalker being the video game. Uh, I don't know. That definitely seems to be the motif they went with when they created this, uh, the Reaper faction. Alright. A lot of resistance fighters. We saved the ones that were in the first group, so I, I'm interested to see how they'll proceed. Speaking of proceeding, Shadow. Want to get a good way. eye on what's down, going on down here. Don't want to move you too far forward. Let's say there. I'll be there soon. Ah, oh, the ranger should not be this far downfield from where the action is. That's on my part. I did not get a good look at where this map was going. Resistance does stuff. Uh, does this game have a class that uses attack drones? The Specialist has a talent tree where if you go all the way down, their drone can be used pretty well against mechanized units, but on the whole, I would say no. Like, you can say, see me in the later game using Specialists offensively, but for the most part, I'm going to be using them as healers because they're the only unit that can actually throw their drone and have it heal people at a distance. Mort Garlord, thank you for the 18 month resub. Alright, Reaper. Ooh, that watchtower looks like a great place to set up shop. Go up there. That's right, give me a good vision. All right, we know there's probably a shapeshifter somewhere in this pod. But I want to get my snipers a good elevated position. Which, uh, this gas station probably isn't. Doesn't even look like it has a ladder to get up there. White mage is the be white mage best mage, yes or no? Okay, so the thing about like, because you have this problem in Dungeons and Dragons where the most efficient way to prevent damage is not to heal. Well, obviously, preventing damage is not healing, but the most efficient way to deal with incoming damage is to kill whoever's attacking you, not heal who's been hurt. Uh, so you always have this question. For the, when it comes to the action economy, is it better to go offensive or to use your action healing? Uh, I think when it comes to specialists, the question is obvious because they're the only class that has that ranged heal. Everyone else has to go up and stand next to whoever, who, whoever they want to help. Uh, so, 
I don't want to make a blanket statement about white mages. I just want to acknowledge that there's an argument there. But yes, don't fuck with the white mage. Like, you do not want to piss off the person that can actually help you. Whether it be hurting the enemy or healing you. Yeah, don't stand next to the cars. Alright, you need to charge in. I've been keeping you in the backfield for too, too long. Stepping off. Looks like they sent the stormtroopers to deal with this. What? Why are you speaking Spanish? We're in China. Localization is localization. I was about to give you guys credit. You were doing very well. I was just wondering how many of these pods you deal with before I even got into position. Carter Rackets, uh, that has to be a very high-level druid that can cast spells in beast form, so it's not, it's not as clear-cut. Although I will say, druids have a whole lot of tools in their toolbox when it comes to D&D 5e. I'm actually playing a moon druid in a campaign, uh, I'm playing personally, and I, I have to spend an extra 30 minutes before and after the game just making sure I have everything set and settled. Especially since Moon Druids are really the most uh, transformy of the Druids. Okay, I don't want to move you up there. Really? Can you shoot at that guy? Yeah, no. He's got good cover on you. I don't want to... Well, actually... There's nobody around but that guy. Uh, I do not win it, so I definitely, I, I once was in a game where someone was playing a Ketsune, and it might be that same homebrew that has magical tales, uh, but I never saw that race's sheet for myself, so I, I'm afraid I can't help you when it comes to picking a class. Probably not Amir, gifting a year's worth of subage uh, to Romokin. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. The cutoff confused my pronunciation. Pronunciation. But thank you, Amir, and uh, welcome, uh, Romukin. Alright. Alright. Uh, dur -dur -dur, move up. T take shelter by this fire. You'll do fine. And uh, in case that Lancer moves out. Okay, so the resistance fighters over here are focusing here, which makes me think there aren't any opponents over here, but I could be wrong. So I, I'm going to risk and have audio run a Your bit order. of recon while kind of swinging around the side of the building. Okay, so far nothing. Trusting you here. Take the shot. Not good. Weapons burning ammo fast. On my way. Negative damage. Eh, tempting, but none of that would help. 
I guess I'll have you sacrifice your shadow, because I seriously doubt you get that below 50% roll again. No one will mourn them. Now we fight well, I hope I don't have to mourn you. There was an advent trooper there the whole time? Not Sandra Hill! Oh, hey, look, they got one of, they got Izzy's, I think they got Izzy's propaganda poster here. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was the one he got when he died. Now I'm sad. Estoy en marcha. Tropas de Advent avistadas. All right, 50-50 shot. He fallado. Munición en las últimas. I didn't even realize audio got a nickname. He's teardrop. On the move. Texarkana, thank you for the uh, six-month resub. Prime grenade territory, isn't it? Yeah, no, move over here. Take the shot! You almost shot the resistance Man. soldier! And you don't have squad sight. Mm. Wait a minute. Ugh. They're not in range. But they're so close. Like, just one square away. Alright. I'm gonna probably hate this later, but reload. Chicago, thank you for the 46 month resub. Just remembered I had to re up that Prime sub on Black Friday. Hopefully, the space alien fighting turns out well and you guys can get that cheap television. I mean, save humanity. Maybe if they get closer, but I doubt they will. Begins. Oh, there's our shapeshifter. Looks like he's made out of silly putty. Which, hey, I guess works. Krona, thank you for the prime sub. A special thanks to everyone that notices that those prime subs have to be renewed every month. I know that takes that's an extra extra tedium that every everyone has to go through and I'm glad you guys uh, spent it on us. Okay, good job on the fence, but you missed him. Uh, Terra, the, the, the subs, the subs you actually pick and pay for yourself are automated if you don't turn them off or change your options. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if Twitch gave you the option to manage them differently. Uh, but for the Prime subs, the one free sub you get for being an Amazon Prime member, you do have to re-up it every month. Wow, really? Better odds of shooting at that one. Uh, let's come back to you. Rolling. What? Really? Okay, hold on, you stay there. Oh, 
Prophet not Amir uh, granting uh, another year of subage to Divine Hero 1. Thanks again, Amir. Uh, and Norco, thank you for the Prime sub. Okay, well, unfortunately, audio as Aaron was a bit of a waste. I wonder if I can get him an New angle. Order. Not without wasting a turn. Alright, well, uh... Back up your resistance, buddy. Alright, uh, who else is still has to go? The Reaper, Shrouded Death, and Disconnect. Oh, wait, no, okay, yeah, no, uh, alright, yeah, that solves that problem. Hey, Reaper, remote start, blow up the car. This will get their attention. Ta da! Now Bandit can focus on the alien. Uh, might as well get you closer. In fact, yeah, 100% with the sword, go get a sword. Unless this one parries. It doesn't. I know mutons parry. I forget. I forgot if these guys with their long ass claws do the Check same too. You get too Menace one five. You secured the remaining civilians, and there are no other hostiles. Flawless. Probably store. not flawless, but no one got hurt, and we saved most of the civilians. Take that mission photo. We deserve it. <laughs> All right. Just gonna just gonna deafen audio here with that point blank shot through his shoulder. No. Oh, if this gun wasn't blocking your face. Still blocking your face. Okay, wait, no. Right. No, get, get that out of the shot. Zoom in. Lower the camera. That's as low as it can go? All right. left in their wake. XCOM refuses to let go of the ways of the old world. They will continue their wanton and reckless crimes until the entire world burns around them. We are grateful to the elders for their support in ending this menace once and for all. Yeah, we don't want those elders to do that directly yet. All right, let's see if uh, let's see if our dating dating simulator kicks in. Like a few dead aliens. We got more than our share today. Uh, looks like Dirger had co good cohesion with our nameless Reaper friend, who I'm not going to dignify with a name because they haven't been an enlisted soldier. Uh, but not enough to form a bond. But anyway, let's see what Dirger became. Grenadier, just what we needed. Perfect. And then, uh, Shrouded Death. What did you become? Or, <laughs> I think I know what you became. Let's see. Uh, Dead Eye. Take a shot with a small aim penalty for a significant damage boost. Or Lightning Hands. Fire your pistol at a target. This does not cost an action. Uh, I'm always a fan of a free shot. Uh, but Shrouded Death might be watching right now. All right, I'm picking Lightning Hands. One of these days I'll have enough uh, ability points where everyone can have everything, but for now I'm just making either or choices. All right, everyone go have a nice drink and a shower. And now we can dissect mutons, what fun. Considering the limited resources available to you, Commander, you have still managed to exceed my expectations. Excellent work. All right, the supply drop's gonna be pretty hefty. Okay, once we get this new skirmisher, I'm going to move Nick over to... I guess I should still say Lanny, just so we all know who I'm referring to. But I'm going to move Lanny over to help uh, excavate this room. Because we need a new power power cell, and so many rooms need to be built. I'm falling behind on that. Uh, not now, but we may come back to that. Avenger plotting new course. Oh, wait! I got level 2 hype, hype train! Hype train! What's going on? What'd I miss? Oh, okay. Sorry. 
Didn't mean to get distracted. I didn't know the earlier subs were uh, contributing to a hype train. All right, Morbid Orion is now a ranger. All right, let's, uh, do we have any more rookies left to train? We don't. All right, let's go shopping for people. Uh, I, th okay, you know what? I actually have to make a couple of changes here, so let's go ahead and recruit these two guys. And I'm out of supplies, so we're done there. <laughs> uh, because, uh, like I, like I, I said in the Discord, oh my gosh, and guys, can I talk for no five good. seconds? I don't trust them, and I don't like sending my people out hand in hand with them. Well, too That's bad, because you're doing it. They're definitely loyal to the commander. Ugh. And they can put up a hell of a fight. It was supposed to be golden eyes, uh, and you gave me specific numbers to pick. Uh, Slendrake, you did give me three numbers to pick through, but since you're here, do you have a preference? I think it was nine, 13, and 14 for the golden eyes. What was I just talking about before I went for recruiting? I don't even remember. Okay, so definitely 13. Got it. There you go. And then uh, Meijo Taku wanted a rename to match up with the fact that we couldn't do this. I can't see my keyboard because I turned off the lights. All right, Major Taku is now Lord Cipher, and the changes have been made. Magnus87, uh, thank you for the 33-month resub. Yay, 33 months. How's it going, Quinn? I see subs or recruits. How does one do uh, get into that? If you type in exclamation point join XCOM, uh, Nightbot will give you the instructions about where to go to give me your character information, where uh, I will put you in the character pool. As for how I'm doing, I had a pretty relaxing Thanksgiving, otherwise known as just another Thursday for everyone else on the on the planet. Uh, decided to just go ahead and relax. Ended up watching a whole lot of Scott uh, Kaiser Neko playing through Bug Stacks. Looked like a great game. Uh, glad I don't have to get it now, because <laughs> it is horrifying when taken to its to its uh, to its extreme. Anyway, let me double check. Something. Don't want to turn you on. Whoops, that is the wrong channel. Actually, you know what? I may have to make an executive decision here. What soldiers do we have available right now? Let's see, uh, we did just get another Grenadier, but I think we're still kind of short on them, especially since our ace in the hole, Terra, is always out for covert missions. So I think, uh, Slendrake, since you're in the chat, please remind me, did you have a specific class you wanted for your character? Because uh, if not, I would like to train one of the new rookies into a Grenadier. But if you had a specific one in mind, now that we have the Gorilla Tactics tool, I don't want to override you. Preferred Sharpshooter. Okay. Uh, actually, have a lot of those, so I'm going to go ahead and run Lord Cypher through the uh, gauntlet. Uh, anyway, resistance concept capacity, still waiting for that covert op to finish. So let's go back to this. Our actions have succeeded, and the elders... Ah, uh, you keep giving me no names. I, I, I put in new reapers and skirmishers into the character pool, specifically so we could just start recruiting them like this, but it's still giving me random One of people. That's good for them. I have no uh, doubt as to their worth. 
locate a faction. All right, Terra. Still need a sergeant out on these missions. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and send along Morbid Orion to help you out. Now there's no risk of uh, problems. All right, we begin. And in the meantime, uh, leave. Because I need to dig up this power coil as soon as possible. Alright, 13 days. Not Still not great of a waiting time, but better than keeping this. Or any grenade or using an item no longer ends a turn. Ooh, that's good. When fired upon, gain one special action. That's also good, but that's also something I have to activate. Uh, let's still go with that. How much does that cost? I'm not sacrificing all the AP for that yet. Harmony Jacobs gets an upgrade and is a specialist. All right, back to the map. Now can we finish a scan? All right, so more shapeshifters in our in our missions. It is just as I had hoped, Commander. Awesome. Now our mag cannons. Oh, great! Ooh, oh, awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, this is great. Now we got some a few instant autopsies. We needed this desperately. All right, do the second. Though I was never witness to one myself, countless observers attest to the existence of a much smaller, less intimidating variant of the sectoid that took part in the original invasion. In the time since, this new being, the product of clear genetic manipulation, is now a familiar face to our forces operating in the field. Sorry, I try to eat some of what I have here while this while the autopsies are underway, so it sounds like the noises are diegetic. Uh, okay, so I haven't really pointed out the code name of these different research projects, but I have to here because this is called Kexburg, Tegan. Kexburg. Kexburg. Bad. Bad Tegan. Preliminary autopsy exam conducted by Dr. Richard Teigen. Uh, actually, it's not Teigen, is it? I could have sworn it was Teigen, but now I'm starting to doubt myself. Acting science officer. Although my direct surgical experience is limited, well, <laughs> well it's about to get a whole lot more experienced. The ge alien's genetic manipulation of the genes previously cataloged as a sectoid provides a certain familiarity in relation to human anatomy. While the earliest documented accounts of sectoids on Earth indicated examples no longer than one meteor in height, they were so cute. Well, the specimens we encounter today are uh, all are all nearly twice that size. Knowing full well that the aliens continue their efforts to integrate human and alien DNA, my findings here only reinforce the notion that a continuous development uh, of a continuous development process. This larger sectoid variant has even greater. Man, I keep missing a word. Has an even greater proportion of human genetic material selectively combined with the intention of improving the otherwise limited physical capabilities of the original. And boy, do they succeed. With enhanced psionic capabilities and greater overall strength, I'd say they succeeded. Hey, I beat you to it. Yeah, Mind Shield, which honestly, during that one mission where we lost the whole squad again, probably would have been somewhat beneficial. All right. Now, dice up this Lancer. The Advent Stun Lancer was apparently outfitted with the intention of serving as a civilian peacekeeping unit within the city centers. Although they are equipped with weapons capable of administering non-lethal blows, recent reports indicate an increasingly aggressive stance taken by these units. I mean, obviously, I know the answer that they didn't want to make a whole new model for it, but the fact that he's cutting them open while they're all wearing, still wearing their full armor is funny. The city centers. It seems they have come to rely on more brutal means of pacification in the time since. On both the physical and genetic level, the Advent Sun Lancers are nearly identical to the trooper troopers are forces regularly seen in combat however a minor yet crucial adjustment to the muscle fiber density of the lancer improves both agility and overall survivability equipped with non-lethal weapons yeah right capable of easily disabling human targets these lancers were first deployed in the early days following advent's establishment of the city centers when civil arrest was a more common uh, problem than outright resistance in studying their usage and deployment this raised an interesting question if the lancers 
were among the first Advent forces deployed, and their survivability is somewhat higher than that of the standard trooper. Did the aliens consciously reduce the trooper's strength based on their assessment of human combat readiness? This would imply a system, uh, this would imply a system of rapid genetic modification beyond what I had previously imagined the aliens were capable of. It would also demonstrate a degree of genetic frugality, frugality, ugh, butchered that, that I would uh, previously assume was irrelevant to the aliens based on the variety of unusual experiments they've conducted. All right, we can buff the Skirmisher's melee weapon and the uh, Ranger's melee weapon. And finally, the experimental weapons are inspired. Ooh, but now we can start tapping into psionics. And eh, well, I might as well go with what's inspired. I a number of valuable applications stemming from this technology. I'll have a report assembled as soon as the research is complete. Good for you. Now we finally finished this. All right. So our supply drops are going to be very good. We're definitely not getting more supplies right now. We're already getting so much in just a few days. I think we'll... All right. We can either... My siblings have I... Sight Wait, I didn't even members, click anything. For they are easily swayed I guess I did. Ambitions, their own misguided judgments through their faults. I will shine as the Elder's true chosen the rightful heir to their throne, an uncontested ruler of the new world that awaits. So I've neglected to research the black market for a while, which means I haven't had a uh, place where I can uh, sell stuff, which I should fix, which I am trying to fix. Alright, now we can get the new cool stuff once we finally build the Proving Ground. Frost Bomb will be great. We need that, especially against the alien rulers, since they get an action every time a unit within their visual range makes an action. We need this badly. And the other stuff is just... Oh! Psionics are inspired now. Oh, that's tempting. Getting Psy operatives somewhat early in the game. I still can't even research plated armor now that I spent all the alloys, so sure. I had assumed you'd make that research a priority, Commander. I'll notify hey. you as soon as the report hey. is available. I'm the commander. Do not guess my motives. Alright. And since we want to keep all our people busy, I think now we'll go ahead and run Talion through the sharpshooter ring. But to all those wondering what we're saying when we're talking about snitties, we're talking about the boobs they ended up putting on the reptilian snake aliens you fight here. So, snake titties, snitties. Incoming message for you, Commander. You better Let's have some praise for me, now. Council. I feel like I've done you better. You have made considerable progress against the aliens over the past month, Commander. I hope that your ongoing efforts will only lead to further success. Damn straight. Uh-oh. Assassin's gotten world. stronger. I am Can summon Advent Troopers. Not terrible, but, you know, fighting one of these things when they can still summon more things is never good. You would do well to be more protective of your secrets. For soon there will be nothing left for you to hide. Uh, and then of course the hunter has just been doing his own thing. Uh, is this worth it? So, what we are doing right now, rapid response, the aliens approve their threat response, guaranteeing reinforcements on all guerrilla ops. This I hate. But this I hate too. I don't want either of these. And I don't like the fact that they're showing this guy with long flowing locks. Don't do that. Don't make him hot. I hate both of these so much, it's hard to even say which one I hate more. I guess... Ugh. I mean, you don't know what's going to pop out of a reinforcement pod, but when a Chosen shows up, a Chosen shows up. Alright, what is it? I mean, that's annoying, but if it's a choice between any of these to stop, I'm going with either of these. So, 
Alright, and since we haven't even discovered the Templars yet, this hasn't really changed. Alright, uh, we'll get to that in a sec. I want to just finish with the black market. Market is open. Good, I have some stuff to sell. Like these nanoscale vests I have too many of. Uh, yeah, I'll sell two right now. As for the corpses, I, I'd rather keep those. Alright. Now what do you have to sell me? Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey! He's selling Taka! Don't ask why he has a samurai mask. That would also be kind of good. But yeah, I, I even when, even before the 20 I spent for that dark event information, I wouldn't have had enough to get any of that. All right, now I'll get the supplies. New course. We had some wounded soldiers Oh no, they injured Morbid. With a few days rest, they'll be ready. But now to we have the Templars. My people understand the value this, of our cooperation. This is not this is not Keenan Eldari, guys. I specifically made the last of our mod squad a Templar, and they didn't even give me him. I greet you as an ally. Ooh, Void Scions. That's a good name for the followers for this faction. With the psionic forces that flow through the earth and all its inhabitants. We channel this energy, aided by Ooh. technology of Ain't our that. own design, to pursue justice for those Man. who have fallen victim to the elders and their servants. We continue to progress in our campaign against the elders, and now we gain new abilities. As a result, we have a chance to deal the elders a great blow, should you wish us to, Commander. Uh, I might actually start dedicating resources to hunting down the Chosen, since now that'll let me put some orders on these factions. That is Q. John Jelancey voices Geist, so Q is one of our allies. Uh, we haven't even discovered the Chosen Hunter yet, so... I mean, so the XCOM thing is currently using both of the orders we get from the Reapers. Unless, so unless we got this, hunting the Warlock wouldn't help us much. So I think I'm going to get a slot for the Skirmishers. And I'm actually going to send audio on this mission. As well as Lord Cypher. And I wish I could send Morbid, because uh, that mobility would be good. But uh, Gildy Gilly, he'll go. Still a chance of an ambush, which is problematic. But I think with this kind of spread, they might survive. My kind will do whatever is needed. Well, Baylorborn, thank you for the uh, nine-month resub. My favorite thing is all the Star Trek references in the uh, War of the Chosen DLC. Uh, Q, Jonathan Frakes, and Deanna Troy are uh, all in the game. And Michael Dorm is the skirmisher. I think we actually have Worf as, one, as the skirmisher. Although now... So... I'm kind of mad. I wanted to get Keenan. I wanted to get the last of our mod squad in when I recruited the Templars, but instead they just gave me this nobody... Uh, so I guess Templar is also it for grabs, but I uh, don't know what to do to get Keenan in the game. I may just transform him into Keenan if no one ends up choosing to, don't have to worry enlist themselves the as a Templar. Anymore, even with the spokesman lurking in the shadows. All right, four more days for that, and then I can finally redistribute some of these engineers. I all right, finish up the supply drop. Many new faces to serve among your resistance. Shut up. But when they needed you most, you failed to protect them. Okay. Our friends in the resistance are paying a heavy price with the chosen running loose. We should do what we can to take them down before they hit again. Of course. Well, once we get that power coil, I can get some resistance radio and we can start branching out our search. But at the moment, I'm busy. Commander. 
The aliens have made Ugh. significant progress right. toward their goals. I'm gonna have to hit an alien. I'm gonna have to hit some of this stuff world. soon so the Avatar project doesn't make too much more progress. All right, we've got our, you know what? Let's also, I, I wanna make sure we're still getting recruits so we're keeping the Gorilla Tactics School busy. I know what I'm gonna make you. Link missing. I, did I make you? I don't know if I made you. The missing at the end kind of confuses me. Uh, for, I'll, Red Cross, I know I made you. <laughs> there. Yes, yes, I know. I need to go on the offensive soon, or the Avatar the project is going to ream me. Make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. I'm planning to, but at the moment, I need to make. I need to catch up. I've I've fallen behind with all these losses. Awesome. Okay, great. Build a power relay. Yeah, ten power. Awesome. Power relay construction initiated. All right, so that has to actually finish before we get the power to build in the other rooms, but uh, for now... Ah, here we go. All right, so we actually can combat all three dark events. Which one is the one I want to ignore? Okay, so we're not doing this one. Because uh, having another scientist would be good, but if we finish that thing over there, we get one anyway. And this dark event is annoying, but compared to these two, it's something I actually... Oh boy, this one's difficult. So this one is an assassin's domain and has automated defenses. This one, still assassin, fighting the lost, but stopping the chosen from spawning. And it gives us intel. We are kind of light on that. But having an, another engineer would help us build more rooms and catch up to our deficit. Yeah, I honestly, I probably would benefit more from going on an easier mission that gets me an engineer and stops advent reinforcements. Well, it doesn't even stop them. It just makes them so they don't show up on every mission. Because honestly, going into a difficult mission that may stop the Chosen from spawning... Yeah, I may even, I may fail this mission anyway. My confidence has been shaken, so I'll go to this one. Setting course for Sector 14, East Asia. Terra got a nickname, Big Country. Uh, automated defenses, I definitely do not want to not have a specialist here. Uh, so, dur to dur, I may ask you to sit this one out in light of getting a specialist. Wait, what? Oh no! Oh no! Really? I didn't know having having audio on a covert mission would keep me from getting that back. All right, we'll build another. Oh, I wish I could get that for our ranger.
Whoops. That's not right. Anything else I can to buff? All right, so guys, I need you to remind me. Who was the assassin week two? Are they weak to Reapers or Skirmishers? Because I, the Skirmisher HQ is in Assassin's territory, so I feel like she's weak to s Skirmishers. If that's the case, Reapers? Okay, then never mind. Is there anything I can do to buff the people I got? Man, I do not have a lot of alloys. So obviously these upgrades don't matter right now. But I'll go ahead and give our... Actually, is the sharpshooter coming? Yes, of course. So, I'll go ahead and buff your gun. I wish I could buff the arc blade, but I just don't have enough alloys. Hopefully this mission will give me more. Mind shield. Rendering soldiers completely immune. That would probably be helpful... If this frickin' second equipment slot was available. I know I can tell pretty easily, but even then, my memory fails me. <laughs> That's the problem. I mean, so having the Mind Shield would protect you from Sectoids and Priests, but at the same time, a fla if they have to concentrate, a Flashbang Grenade would disrupt that. So I feel like having you, having some of you with Flashbangs may be enough to compensate. And if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. Launch. Sky Ranger deployed. In position to drop. I would not be surprised if on the mission that doesn't involve increasing the spawn rate of the Chosen, the Chosen spawns. Dr. Tigan has been tracking the movements of an advent data vault carrying information critical to the end. Uh, which stuff gives project, EMP stuff? Uh, I need to get the proving, I think I need to get the proving ground and then the uh, research like uh, the blue screen technology. That would give me grenade, EMP grenades and blue screen rounds. Forces protecting this thing. Move in and secure the area. Leave no alien standing. One five. We've got a bead on the advent data vault near your position. Be advised. Self-detonating charges are in place at the target. Move to disarm and extract the package before its contents are destroyed. We've confirmed our previous readings, Commander. Be on alert for robotic enemies moving near that position. Okay, so luckily I don't have to worry about the timer. Because as long as I remain concealed, that timer won't tick down. Uh, so first things first, let's get our Reaper to start scouting for us. They'll be swift. An alien patrol. Ooh, mech troopers. A whole lot of them, too. A whole lot of them being, of course, two. Wow, there's a whole lot of space over here. I want Shroud, I mean, honestly, unless we get over to this building, Shroud is not going to be at a more elevated position. Good to go. 
Yeah, no, I lucked out. On, I lucked out with that resistance order. Like that is a pretty good one from the Reapers. The other one I may have wanted was the any damage done to a loss is a kill shot, but that's a bit niche because obviously you have whole missions where you don't have the loss. Uh, the game is set to normal, and uh, sorry for the extra noise, but my computer's starting to cook, so I need to turn the fan on. Okay. They didn't move at all? Alright, well. Wait, no. There's the automated defenses. Oh my gosh. I didn't know automated defenses meant all mech troopers. Yeah, no, if I had the blue screen tech, this would be a breeze. Iron Man is off simply because I need more saves. I do not want to risk the game breaking at one point and then I cannot recover it because it's on Iron Man. So, call me a coward if you wish. I I will not save scum unless something actually mechanically breaks with the game. Moving to designated coordinates. Uh boy. Obviously, if I want to use, like, a grenade, I want to use it on these guys. But, uh, Terra, I don't think you can get too close, too much closer than where I've got you now. And I definitely might want to pull Shroud of Death back. Because he will not get any elevation. And if he's all the way back here, they'll at least not be able to shoot him. That's tempting, but dumb. Yeah, no, fall back over here. Okay. Orders confirmed on the move. Just in case something goes horribly wrong. Watch. Heading out. Closing on target position now. Moving to designated position. We should try to take them one pod at a time, but there's the problem. Once you guys get revealed, not only do all the pods now see you, like those guns will see you, that guy will see you, which means all three of those units will see you. Like, unless we attack the center pod and do devastating damage, I have a feeling the whole that whole flank is just going to collapse on us. Like, we can surge this way, but then they'll all open fire. And then, of course, we have this gun, and I wouldn't be surprised if there's one more over here. Why are you kind of... Oh, because they would have a shot on you. Alright. I go what I'm needed. Objective in the range. Menace 1-5, this is Avenger. We have positive confirmation of the target package. Move to acquire. Using the Claymore is not a bad idea. It's not a super powerful Claymore. I always get that for the Reapers because the fact that it can... The, the fact that it can throw it and then shoot it without revealing itself is great. Uh, so this won't do massive damage. Ugh, yeah, I, I, I can probably only get two of the troopers here with it. Uh, but I think that's a good opening play. 
using the claymore to damage the pod. And to my surprise, there's only one gun here. But I definitely want everyone else to be in a good position first. You're right, Tazuto. If we destroyed if we destroyed this part of the roof, the turret will be destroyed by losing losing the roof. So this is gonna have to have, this is probably gonna be a mission with a lot of collateral damage if I can help it. Uh, let's see here. No one else has used their actions yet, but you can't do anything. Like you could throw the claymore, but they can move. So, don't do that. I would rather you be in full cover, but... Yeah, too close. Uh, the detection rings on these guys are pretty much adjacent to them. Like, unless they ran right in front of the Reaper, I think they'd be okay. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Move you up. Roger that. What hacks do you have? Fail and you get reinforcements? Yeah, no, cancel that. Garrus 2, thank you for the 45 months of Prime sub. 45 months. Played this game when it first came out, but could not finish the final mission due to bad rolls and my game crashing. Yep, nope, and that's why I'm not playing on Iron Man. <laughs> Maintaining position. In position. In cover. Got it covered. I'm going to see what this turns into. This is a risk, but I think I can get good dividends out of it. I'll leave this here. I can only hope it hits two of these guys. I lost sight on the other one. Oh, the claymore. You can't you don't have an angle on the claymore? Boo. All right. Uh, move over here. I didn't realize that he would lose the angle on the claymore. Damn it. Well, I don't want to move any of you. Overwatch. We're not going loud now. I definitely want to fire on that claymore while I still have concealment, because I want to see what happens to that pod. Holding position. Affirmative. Covering now. Ah, now they go on patrol. We may have screwed our... I, well, I may have screwed us over here. Yeah, now... Can you see the claymore? And of course they're gone. I don't even know if they moved. Fuck it. Well, the claymore is not moving, so fire. Okay, got one. <laughs>
<sighs> I do not want to go loud yet. But if these guys move anymore, they're going to find the ambush. Yeah, you can't hack them remotely yet. I can't... I, I mean, if I dash to the bottom left, I'll... Uh, well, yeah, I can't go this way, but I can go this way. All right, fall back. Let's see what this turns into. Moving on target location. If we end up giving them a height advantage, we're we're gonna regret this. On my way. <laughs> oh boy, that's risky. If they backpedal. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. That's affirmative. Scanning. What do your elf eyes see? As you order, Commander. Ooh, a remote start? Eh, that's not gonna hurt anybody. Libby, uh, Lil B. <laughs> Oh eight nine one, they thread. I am on the move. On my way. Location. Scanning. Eyes on the prize. Closing on target position now. I'm just getting them ready to go up the ladder. Scanning. Oh, that one's burning. Good. I did get two of them with one claymore. I think that's pretty good. Ah, now there's more. There were always more. Ugh, oh, what if I... Ugh, oh, were they close to the bus? I'm gonna kick myself if they somehow were close enough for the bus to hurt them. I don't think they were. It's not too far. Oh no, a civilian burned to death. What a shame. I th so the thing is, if I go loud, the Reaper won't be discovered. So hopefully this pod over here won't rush to their aid. But this might be the perfect time to take out this pod. Like, Terra can open with a grenade. Does anyone else have a grenade? Eh, not explosive grenades. So we'll lose out on the, cap on, on the ability to take out this building. Unless it's on fire. <laughs> then it may spread. But, uh, I'm starting to think Terra could open with a grenade, Shrouded tries to pick off what's left, and then if there's still people left, these two can rush up the ladder. Fire in the hole! Their 
Well, now I know when it comes to automated defenses, it means I need to make sure I have stuff that can deal with mech troopers. I just thought that meant more turrets were going to be in the game, but uh, I was wrong. Now you're flanked. Shit. All right, well, that, there goes that action. What? 85% and you miss. Oh, well, that deck's gone for ya. There you go. Now, if you had done that twice, you could have gotten him. Use your sword and cut through that metal. Okay, well, moving you up is just going to beg for a grenade. Unless you move here. In which case, oh, that pod. Moving on target location. Kataguya, thank you for the six, a uh, 41 month resub, but the six month streak. Congrats. Well, unfortunately, that grenade could have been probably could have been better served with um, uh, using on the larger pods, but that's one mech pod down. Now we just gotta be careful. We could either drive up the middle and take out the weakened mech pod here, even though there's a turret, or we can try pivoting over this way to take out the three mech pod that's at full health. Let's see what that mech pod's doing. That's a long run. Okay, so there. Okay. They're pretty close together. Driving up the middle. So my thought is driving up the middle may not trigger this pod but going like coming down the left way and attacking unless I'm like all the way over here which would take a couple of turns and which since we're revealed we're on the clock uh, I want I want to take down the center first because I feel like if I come if I keep if I move some of the troops over just over here I can take out this pod without moving these guys closer Yeah, if we, go, if we go down the left flank, we might be able to take this pot out, but we'd have to be all the way over here. Uh, I think we're better positioned to take this pot out first. Not a problem. Take out the turret. Shrouded, are, are you okay? I mean, it was a, it was just it was like a two and three shot. But do you need like a cup of coffee or something? Because uh, taking out that turret would have been a big help. hoping to take out more than just one with that overwatch, especially since two of them were damaged, but I'll take that. And here come the rockets. Really? That wasn't spread out enough? Ugh. Okay. RNG is not completely against us. Oh, may have spoken too soon. Oh, okay, no, Terra's still on top. All right. All right. Uh, okay, first off, take another... Oh, really? I would really want you to take another shot at that, but if that's 80%, do it. 
There you go. No, no, we're not dealing with you yet. You... Okay, so you'll lose line of sight if you go behind that, but you'll get full cover. Does that still count as full cover for the turret? Absolutely. Don't shoot through your cover like that! Okay. That's how it's done. Now for you. Pod's not activated yet. That's good. I'm now try leader. to fire your shotgun at that turret from this distance. Sit. Those are the results I expect for my bad positioning. Okay. Uh, do not move up like that. Yeah, let's just keep moving on the right side. Good copy. Moving on target. Uh, three pips. Oh yeah, you know what? Go ahead and heal yourself. Get up and get back out there. Wake up, get up, get out there. Swan and lies in the making. I just want you to keep an eye on them. Uh, actually. Uh, don't get closer. Just uh, overwatch in case something happens. Oh no! Oh no, something it did indeed happen. Good thing we were moving off to the right. Okay, uh... You can't get over there and get that stuff? Alright. Not the light pole, the giant flesh monster. Gonna need to reload soon. That's what I'm talking about. No, not yet. Chosen information. Neat. I've got the package. Uh, I'm going to actually hope when he charges, you can get a shot off. We've over. still got four turns, so I, I think we're good. Uh, when we move over here, though, these guys might catch wise. I'll try. Good oh, yep, no, nope. they promised they would have more of these guys, and here they are. Menace one five, the clock is ticking. I that know. Isn't going to wait. Get to the vault and disarm it before we run out of time. Okay, good. You can hack it from here. Go do that. Well, why not go for broke? Oh, 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 oh! Uh, whatever. All right. I almost fit on my spring screen with that. <laughs> Just broke the window on the way out. Even the drone's a jerk. So you are. In fact, you all are. 
Uh, don't get too close, but in fact, you know what? Yeah, stay where you are and just reload. Locked and loaded. We're not on a time limit, so we should need to take these guys at our leisure. Come get some. Back in. Moving to position. Uh. Oh, 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 darn. If only we could get them over there, but I doubt we can. No, no, your time has not yet come, just in case you accidentally get revealed. That's right, come a bit closer. Wait, what? Why? What? Shouldn't our ranger be able to shoot Overwatch on you? Come on! It's dead. It has to be dead. We hope it's dead. All right, now you can get up here. I don't think that should trigger the pod. Okay, not yet. Uh. Alright, it looks like that pod over there is the last group of enemies in the map. So we just need to make sure we attack them efficiently. I want you actually to move back over here. I'm trusting you. The battlefield will shift. And I'm kind of hoping maybe in their recklessness they will move right around the car, you can explode. So keep just keep just keep just keeping on. Just keeping on. Bandit. No. What's your line of sight looking like? They would have to move up. Or you would have to get up here. If you got up here, they would definitely see you. Uh, so let's have you move. Who can still go? Everybody? Okay, so I think I'm going to have... Disconnect be our triggering event. Or maybe not. I kind of want Disconnect to get up here, but, uh, yeah, no. Guard... Double time. This might activate them, this might not. It activated them. You can't see? Ugh, all right. Did they move next to the bus? Ah, no, hold on, wait. No, 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 that's not, I keep forgetting which key I pressed to turn the camera. They moved back, but not close to the bus. If you moved over here. I am at your service. No, 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 nope. Disappointing. I may have to activate the Reaper just to keep them from firing everything at uh, disconnect. I did not know they would all be this far out of position. All right, Terra. Cover my mistake by doing a great shot. That's right. Okay, that's all the defenses I can pour around Disconnect. Maybe it would still sucker them into fighting. Uh, reload while you're up here. Ready to engage. 
We're going to need to take a few shots. Uh, you know what? I'm going to actually keep you in stealth. I'll watch closely. The opportune moment didn't come, but I triggered it too early. Really? Are they going to go for move? Oh, wait, no. This one's firing rockets. Huh. Interesting choice. Do you have a shot? You do not. Stop that. The armor saved him. Now we fight in the open. Affirmative, moving out. Man, this building is just a terrible angle. Yeah, we don't even see the one that hopped the fence here. There you are. Okay, hold on. You have 100%, but not gonna, not on a kill. Does anyone else see that? Okay. Heading out. That's what I need. Hit the armor. Could have done a complete kill, but I'll settle for this. This one isn't going to get any closer, is he? Well, don't get too close. Location confirmed. Now is he going to fire rockets? Oh, oh, oh! That that could have been a mission-ending Overwatch. With you keep doing with the okay. Finish this. Check it before you get too close. What a weird choice! It feels like if it had, if they had used their rockets more liberally, they could have probably killed at least one person. I wonder if that was a difficulty decision. Uh, nah. I don't think I want this one's worth a mission photo. According to Advent officials, recent attacks by dissident elements operating outside of the city centers have done little to slow the... Okay, so even if they don't use their rockets on a single person, they didn't even take a shot. They decided to just use suppression. ...emigration numbers are reportedly at their highest level in recent years. I mean, they sometimes picked the right target to suppress. If Disconnect couldn't get any closer, uh... She couldn't kill. Even one Reaper left standing. You can bet they're still in the fight. Finger on the trigger. All right, let's get some promotions. Medical protocol for sure. Let's see. Conceal, which is essentially the Reaper ability, or run, no, running gun. Sorry, that that one's a priority. The ability to use your full movement and then shoot someone in the face is priority. Shrapnel, definitely. Also a lot of soldier AP. I may get something else. Any unit seen by the Reaper remains permanently visible. Yes, get it. Get it now. Night Crazy, thanks for uh, thanks for joining us. Hello, Commander. Alright, we got another engineer. Who isn't someone I made. I was hoping to have an Avenger staffed by TFS folks and an army made by Stream 4 Star subscribers, but apparently I don't get to have nice things. Okay, I'm going to quickly clean this out. 
and then start breaking up the engineers to do the different building projects. Ooh, alien alloys are necessary for some of these upgrades. Let me get a good view of what's going on. But well, the scientist is almost the gone. The elders know all too well that you approach the refuge of the insidious Templars. Do not assume that their aid will make any difference to your cause. Do you found a sign? Oh, hey, we got Grant. He escaped. I don't remember if he was an engineer last time, but he escaped and became a scientist. I couldn't find a good hairstyle for Grant, but hey, science. Okay, well, wait a minute. You changed that from a six-day battle... Okay, no. Wait, battlefield for supplies. I still need alien alloys. So you just switched this on me. That's rude. All right, well, Avengers I still need alloys. New course. When inspired, our team is actually quite efficient. Especially with Grant helping. By closely examining the aliens' own means of harnessing and wielding psionic energy, I believe the chances are good we'll have more than enough viable candidates to serve as psi operatives. However, with the advanced psi psionic capabilities we've seen from the various alien species in the field, it may not be enough. In preparation for this new class of soldiers, I've used the chip removed from the commander to study the technology needed to focus and divert psionic energy. Huh. <sighs> Don't know why I didn't decide to breathe there. <sighs> oh no, it's unfortunate spaceman all over again. As a result, I've developed a psionic amplifier capable of focusing and enhancing the psionic energy they will uh, be trained to harness. Although the potential for negative side effects will be high, I foresee the possibility that our soldiers will be able to push their new powers beyond the limits of what we might consider safe. Alright, we've got some instant autopsies. Let's cut them up. I am at a loss for words to describe the difficulties we have had in attempting to handle this creature, affectionately known as the Faceless, to our troops. The nebulous form of its physical structure, including a pliable, semi-solid outer layer, seems to be slowly degrading now that the creature has expired. There is also a pungent odor that only seems to grow stronger as time passes. I've often wondered how the aliens could consume... Oh boy, there's going to be a whole lot of reading here. Is there another world out there filled with these shape-shifting creatures? Or are they merely another construct of alien genetic tampering? Early reports from the Resistance referencing that an alien creature said to be capable of shape-shifting were initially dismissed by local cell leaders who attributed the sightings to combat stress and malnutrition. It wasn't until our own forces engaged with the creature that we successfully confirmed its existence. Surprisingly enough, the description of the creature from those early reports was quite accurate. With a varying height of up to three meters, the specimen currently referred to as the Faceless has one of the most unusual internal structures I've ever encountered. Where one might expect to find a skeletal foundation, we instead see a series of malleable uh, chitin-like structures providing various points for the expansion of equally unusual fluid membranes. The membranes in question are responsible for the faceless's ability to mirror the, uh, the form of a human, and recirculating key cellular combinations via the elaborate internal structure, the faceless is capable of forming solid shapes while also mirroring colors and textures without physical sampling. As of yet, we've only seen evidence of the faceless attempting to imitate humans, but not other uh, species or inanimate objects. Whether or not this is a limitation of their genetic makeup or an intentional manipulation of their abilities by the aliens, we cannot say at this time. Mimic Beacon. More autopsies. This time, do it on robots. These robotic units developed by Advent seem to be wholly autonomous, capable of targeting and engaging selected units without reliance on external verification. Although it falls on me to work through the initial disassembly, I fully intend on involving Shen in this process, as her knowledge of robotics far outweighs my own. Advent has legions of these mechanized units out there helping to keep the peace. As far as I can tell, they're fully automated and armed to the teeth. 
loosing protocol is something we desperately need if we deal with another of these automated missions. From our initial breakdown, I have to assume the Advent mech design was at least in part based on the Alien Sectopod, a similar autonomous war machine lacking in biological components. As far as I can tell, the Advent variant was supposed to be less intimidating, more suited for urban pacification or peacekeeping operations conducted in proximity to the civilian crowds. That facade only works because of the carefully designed uh, disguised weapons uh, systems integrated throughout the machine. I don't think people would react so calmly if they knew about the micro-missile launching system linked to Advent's network running facial recognition on the crowd at microsecond intervals. Oh boy. We got upgraded gremlins! We got brute stream protocol! One more on Topsy. The turrets we see employed by Advent. Through I don't even know how this looks. This actually looks outside of these camera automated. angles. I don't think it looks good. The alien mechanized units are. A significant amount of time was likely spent developing the optical sensors and targeting system, which I expect Shin will want to thoroughly examine following the disassembly process. Advent doesn't seem to have any issues stationing completely autonomous weapons in close proximity to the people in those cities. Really shows you how much they care. We've run across the Advent turrets in a variety of places, mainly near the security checkpoints and other areas they're trying to lock down. Now that we've finally gotten a chance to pull one apart, I can say with certainty that the turrets are operating entirely on their own, with no outside controller or remote direction given. As much as I'd like to test the targeting sensors, Central, just call him Bradford, uh, and wait a minute. Oh, okay, so Shen actually wrote this, and Dr. Uh, Tegan have both expressed their concerns about test firing the system before we know how it discerns between friendly and hostile targets. Considering how close the aliens position these things to civilian-occupied areas, the target recognition software must be incredibly accurate or incredibly basic. I doubt I wouldn't be uh, at all. I wouldn't be all that surprised if the aliens were just flipping the switch and setting those loose on anyone caught in the firing radius. I'll have to see uh, about setting up some sort of test environment. So now we can build a room where we have these turrets show up when we're defending the Avenger. I usually build it, but I can also understand people thinking it's kind of a waste. If you can, if you're good enough with your troops, you really don't need all these cannons helping you defend the Avenger. All right, so now we can get modular cannons, which would let us get an extra upgrade slot. Still need more alloys for that armor. So you know what? I'll have alloys by the time this finishes. So I'll do that. Serious Dan, a Yo Quinn, how goes the XCOM? It goes well enough. I haven't had a squad wipe yet, so small improvements. Our oh no! The th uh, trio we sent on that mission were ambushed. Did you honestly expect to operate in the shadows while I still move among the living? Lord of Endgame, I'm gonna say you jinxed it with that yet you put in chat. But alright, let's see if we can't prevent this ambush. Or rather, save them now that they've been ambushed. Got no time to waste. Break cover and move to the extraction point on the double. Thanks for putting it so far away, Central. <sighs> oh, wow. This is not good. Let's see. A lot of urban... Ugh, I don't know what this open space is. It looks like an intersection. Yikes. Usually going through the buildings is a nice way to kind of limit how many aliens can fire at you at once. Uh, but this is not a good map. I don't like it at all. Let's see. The first thing that usually happens is that a reinforcement thing shows up pretty much right in front of you. Uh, I kind of want to get into this building, at least to this intersection. Okay, uh, yeah, let's stay down here. 
Orders confirmed. On the move. On your order. Orders confirmed. Moving out. I always forget where that reinforcement point shows up, but I was thinking of maybe getting an overwatch down on them. Uh, no, let's just keep moving. I'm on the move. Moving to position. Moving to position. Ah, damn it. Great here. Your team is compromised. We're picking up Advent response forces inbound on your position. Break that window. How bad is this? Well, I, let's just say I'm glad it happened on a mission where I have at least three soldiers to use instead of like the two I usually that usually get sent on, on covert ops. Let's see what shows up in the first batch of reinforcements. Uh, trooper and an officer. I've got eyes on an admin position. No bad lip flaps didn't didn't sync up at all. Okay, and we're running. Uh, you, oh, that's pretty far from the target. Let's see. So we'd have to go over here, down through the building. Is there a way to get from there to there? Fog of war, of course, isn't helpful. Double time. Running. Solid copy. Why did you climb up on that side? Oh, yeah, I guess you just shoot through the windows like that. Oh my god, really? Shit. And already audio is near death. Well, first things first, get some damn cover. Uh. far down. Or maybe I do. I don't know what's out there. I'd go out here first. Ah, uh, yeah, see? Okay, well, while you're up here, heal yourself. coming through. Okay, bad odds. Can you get down here without spending... Oh, you can! Do that. Because I still want you to take a shot. It's 68 to shoot just around the corner. Fine, yeah, no, fuck it. Just hit him from here. Through the wall, I guess. 
Don't know why you could do it there, but not one square over. Target eliminated. Okay, I'm position confirmed. This will summon a horde of lost. I don't really care. Am I able to get it like one square more that way? I guess that would get rid of the floor. You have two of these. I want to see what happens if you knock the floor out, even if you can't do direct damage. Because he won't be able to progress further into the building. Ah, darn. He could take a long way around. Right next to the X-Fill. Screw you, game. Do the Lost care about who is who? No, they'll attack anybody. But the aliens usually prioritize you over them. Are you kidding me? We have an operative down, Commander. We should attempt to rescue if possible, but not at the cost of our other troops. Marks Gildy Gildy and then immediately takes a shot through the building. Oh, and you know what? He wouldn't have been able to do it if I hadn't made that ho fucking hole, uh, hole on the floor. God damn it. Hold on. You're able to heal him, right? You could stabilize. Yeah, if I stabilize him and carry him out, that'd be something, but that's a whole lot of actions that I can't afford to spend. <sighs> Getting next to this car is such a bad idea. Can you... You have to have a health kit to stabilize, right? Because I don't want to move Lord Cypher down there, only to be disappointed in what he can do. Okay, so I'll move Lord Cypher down here. Closing on target position now. What are you doing? Why did you just shatter your knees? There's a ladder right there. Okay. So you can carry him, but he's still bleeding. Oh, okay. I didn't even notice you came down here. Your boss is still up there, and I'm not... Ugh, not a giant fan. Ugh, crap. I don't like... These guys obviously can't be... I, if they follow me... If they follow me all the way to the exit point, they're just going to keep shooting at me. So shoot back. Target neutralized. Ah, oh, man, it's gonna fucking suck if even with forty percent cover, the officer still takes him out. Can you close door? Uh, maybe. Not with him. Probably, yeah. Oh yeah, no, the doors are gone. Oh no, where are they? Well, okay, they're not gone, but they're glass. So I don't think they'd be fried any cover. All right, uh, audio. Crap, this is gonna use his med kit as well. Audio will get, hopefully, out of the guy's line of sight and shattering his knees. 
but he'll use his gremlin to go ahead and stabilize Gildy Gildy. Go help him out. Yep, and that's all the uses of the med kit we got. He's on Overwatch? Uh, great. <sighs> Fucking blow him up. Bombs away. Well, I got rid of the Overwatch. <sighs> Audio Dragon does not have a shot. Unless he moved into half cover. Which, with this guy, I'm not too sure about. Oh, crap. Do it. Heading out. This officer is clearly a massive thorn in my side. Oh, it's not going to be enough to kill unless you crit. That's exactly what I needed, audio. Great work. The lost are getting a lot closer to our position, Commander. Prepare for more incoming. Oh, okay, so I can, Oak Cliff. Well, not doing that now. Pick him up. Get comfortable. Can you get up to that building? You cannot. I'm all over it. Oh boy, that's a lot of them. Start climbing. If there are any if there are any lost or aliens up there, I think this ambush is gonna be fucked. Or rather this escape is gonna be fucked. Alright, audio, you're gonna have to do some rear guard cover. Like a lot of it. Uh in fact so much I ugh, damn it. I'd like to get you all the way up there. Actually, wait, no, if you get up there, they can't climb the ladder. Do it. Got it. And now they're just gonna stand there menacingly. <sighs> can't even see them, can you? Nope. So can't even shoot at them while they try to... Alright, so now we've gotten a bit closer. What's this look like? Okay, so it does look like we can cut through the building, hop off the balcony, and then it's probably just another lost horde between us and the x -Fill. I don't have any grenades left, so destroying the balcony is out of the question. If we run, we probably won't get a chance to deal with the... Watch, there's going to be an alien pod around the other side Rolling of this building. Out. Oh boy. There it is. There's our escape. Probably just over one more turn of movement away. could try to inch your way there. If I had a chance to fire while moving, probably, but the Lost would have to get a whole turn to climb into the building anyway. Okay, hold on. Lord Cypher, can you make it? You can't make it. And we don't know, like, I, uh, so, this map, I've 
I've been on creations of this map before. They usually put another alien pod right down here. So, hoofing it probably won't pan out. Because I could put him in full cover, but the aliens would be able to climb up and shoot him. Just go for it. Ugh, it's so close. The Lost... Okay, we've seen now the Lost can't catch us. They're too slow. We can run over here and the Lost won't find us, but if there's stuff over here, we're fucked. All right. Go, Lord Cypher. Getting it done. Save Gildy Gildy. His life rests quite literally in your shoulders. On your shoulders. Damn it. I screwed up the turn of phrase. I've got eyes on an advent position. Ah, there we go. There's the advent trooper. All right. If I moved you over here, would you even have a shot? I'm on it. Nope. All right. And he climbs up the ladder and he's going to get a flank shot. Cover the flank. Oh, really? He decided to dash? Okay. Go go fight, go fight the advent trooper. Okay. Lord Cypher, run! That's affirmative. I know he gets a free action to evac even if he dashes, but whatever, he's in there. Go, go, go. Get the fuck out of here. Double time. Follow him, audio. Let's go. Well, Gildy Gildy is going to be the infirmary for a while, but everyone got All out. Members of Wraith One have been successfully evac. Yeah, take the gremlin. I want one where kind of Gildy Gildy's on the ground. <laughs> With a mug like that, you might get at and to surrender after all. That was fucking close. As if things weren't bad enough between the elders, their alien armies, and the chosen, now we've got zombies to deal with. You definitely look like you're, you're somebody who would benefit from Phantom. I may give you Blade Master later. What was that covert mission even for? I don't remember. We are victorious. Oh, okay. Our intel on the Chosen is getting more detailed every day. So, so the Assassin's Week to Skirmishers. They were the ones that had the hunt, the Assassin mission. We are bound by a common enemy, and together we grow strong. If there are orders you would have us follow, Commander, tell us what must be done. Our influence with the Resistance factions has motivated them to share some new information on the Chosen. Not you. Covert is our specialty. Let's just hope your people can keep up. All right. Well, that was an exciting escape. Uh, and actually, it looks like uh, we're 30 minutes after 9. I have got to get some food in me because I, for some reason, did not eat before this. So I'm going to do a quick scan. Combat school. Still can't get anything. Uh, we're all we we're I think we're just maybe one month away from getting things back to where they probably should have been had our good squads not been all killed. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and make a save.
turn off this fan so I can actually hear myself think. And uh, I hope everyone here had a good time. I had a good time. I lost track of time. I had such a good time. Uh, but I hope everybody uh, had a good stream and has a great weekend. And before I sign off totally, let me double check to see if there's anybody I can send you off to raid. Looks like Zito is uh, going through Slasher's Keep. Here I go slashing again. So, uh, last time, the tornado warning kind of knocked us all off the air at the same time. So, hopefully this raid doesn't uh, end up going nowhere like last time. Don't blame Zito. Uh, we, were, we were all trying to get off the stream when the tornado was coming. Uh, let's see. What raid message do I want to give you guys to Zito? Uh, let's say that your raid message is... Is Assassin got nothing on me too long? You know what? Let's 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 say Gildy lives. Let's make let's make the um uh let us make the raid message Gildy lives. Nobody died is good, but Gildy was the one who was in most mortal peril. So let's say Gildy lives will be the raid message. All right, everybody, have a great weekend.